Hi guys, it is Dizzy Slay MUA. Welcome back to my YouTube. And here I am with another client tutorial. Today we are doing a Valentine's glitter look. So I'm starting off by putting setting powder in her brows just to get rid of any oils to make it easier for our application. Now I'm brushing her brows into place and I'm just going to start off by tracing the brows, just doing the outline. And I'm using the Kiss New York top precision brow pencil in deep dark brown now her brows are practically like perfect <laughs> so they're almost perfect so you'll see I'm literally just tracing it and I barely even have to go through it with any strokes and then when I get towards the front I'm gonna take the strokes straight up to make it look more realistic and like hairs Alright, now that both the brows are done, I'm carving them out with concealer. For her, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm using the shade 36S. So you see how I'm just cleaning up the brows, and then I'm going to drag the rest down towards the lid. And I don't take it to the very front. So for the front of the brow, I actually like to use my client's foundation shade, or you can even go darker with a concealer if you guys wanted to, but that just makes a better blend for me, I feel like. And then over the top of the brow, I'm using the foundation shade as well. Now I ended up mixing two different foundations for her today, so I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way in Warm Beige and also Beauty Bakery in the shade 325N. Now that that's all done, I'm going to blend this concealer and foundation mix out. That way, when I go to add the primer onto the lid, it blends seamlessly. And then when I do the foundation and highlighting around the face, you won't see any, any type of lines. Do you see how it's all just like really like blending into her skin? I, I really love this part of makeup. I don't know why. <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts. All right, now that we have all this done, we are going to add our primer and I am using the ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills, their eye primer. I like using this one because we're going in with a bright color. And so this is like a white primer and it dries very fast. So here I am just applying it onto the lid, making sure that it's not patchy that we have a nice smooth application. All right, the palette that we're using today is the Notepad Pink Edition by Crown Case. So I'm going to start with the top right pink color and I'm just going to focus that in the crease. And then as I'm blending, I'm gonna slowly start to take that above it. So you can see I'm just doing, uh, this is a fluffy brush, I'm just going in small circular motions. Get up closer on the eye, yes. <laughs> and this is what I'm doing with that, yeah, the top right pink. So after I have that all placed, now I'm going in with the lighter pink directly below that. And that's what I'm going to use to buff that out, going up towards the brow and out and still just small circular motions. I just want everything to be nice and blended. Now I'm going back in with the top right one. Oh, I wish they had names. <laughs> so I'm going back in with that first initial pink just to darken our crease up just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm taking a smaller brush because I really want to focus on this crease and get it a nice, I guess like a hot but deeper pink. So this is the pink now on the first column, but the second one, the second one down. And I'm taking this small brush and I'm just adding that hot pink right there directly into the crease. And then back in with our fluffier brush and using that first pink to buff that out. 
so it's a lot of back and forth to get colors to blend but it definitely pays off in the end now I am cutting my crease well her crease and I'm using the Inglot gel liner and this is number 92 so the Inglot gel liner 92 so you want to make sure that your brush is heavily coated that way when you go to map this out it's not um, patchy you'll get a nice straight line and you just want to focus that product on the tip of the brush and in any excess we will bring down so I'm not sure if you could tell in the video but I'm just tapping the edge of this brush where I want you know that crease to be that way it's nice and sharp and then anything like I said we're just going to bring down the excess All right, after we have our crease all done, I'm just taking a nice fluffy brush to make sure that our base for this is now flat. And we're just gonna go right in with some glitter. I really love to use this Inglot base. I have a couple different shades, but the silver one, oh my God. All right, on the outer parts of this, of where we put our gel liner, we are going back in with that pink from the notepad the one that was the second one down. So we are placing that on the corner and bringing it over on top of the gel liner. Just so that we have a nice blend. I don't like when it just stops like that, unless I was to bring that whole crease down, but in this instance, I did not. So we are blending this pink onto it. So because I'm extra, I did go over top of the gel liner with the loose pigment in Icy by Dizzy Slay House just to give me a little bit more of a shine for when I go on top with the glitter. I, I just needed that for me. <laughs> All right, now I'm taking the Kiss eyeliner, the clear liner, and going over the lid where I wanna place the glitter then I tap my brush on it and then go right into the glitter. Remember this is so that I get less fallout. I have a bit more control over the glitter. And now I'm just placing it where I want it to go. Um, this glitter is part of Dizzy Slay House Spring Fling set. It actually has hearts in it and bits of pink and silver so I thought it was perfect for this Valentine's look. And then, you know, when I get done, I just want to go over parts. If in any spots where I see glitter sticking up and just press down to make sure it's nice and flat. So I was very obsessed with the Tarte Clay Liner, but they're not in stores anymore. <laughs> to my surprise, I went to Ulta to get it and they didn't have any. So I was recommended the Kat Von D Graphite Liner, which I actually kind of like. So that's what I'm using on her today, and I'm applying that with an angled brush. So I didn't want to speed this part up. I wanted you guys to actually see, I guess, how long it actually takes to do a wing liner and the actual work that goes into it. I don't know. I was just very proud of this wing that I didn't want to speed up the process. I'm like, no, you guys have to see it. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going over her crease with a pink water liner. I felt like this added a little bit of razzle dazzle to the look, a little bit of oomph. And I don't know, I just really like this light baby doll pink against this hot pink eyeshadow. So I will leave all the details of what I'm using down below. But this again is by Dizzy Slay House. And this is the water activated liner. So I'm just, um, I think I went over like two or three times just to get it um, exactly how I wanted to make sure that it was sharp enough, um, make sure it wasn't patchy. 
And after I go over top of that, I'm also gonna take it over top of the liner, but only about halfway. Okay, so you guys know how they put like these nice stickers or like little decals on your nails when you get them done? Well, I was like, why can't that go on my face? So I've been using it on myself and now I decided to add it to my clients. And so I'm just adding a little silver heart. I just, look at it. Like it really like makes a look, I feel like. So I applied it with the lash glue and then I, you know, just place it as I would with rhinestones, which I'm about to go around that heart with right now. So, you know, I'll take a couple dots and then I use three different rhinestones for this look. And I'm just going around this heart. Okay, after I'm done with that, now I'm just cleaning up our black liner just to make sure that it's straight because when we did add the pink, you know, we can't always make it perfect, but we can clean it up so it looks perfect. So we are done with our eyes for now. Now I'm applying our Urban Decay face primer all over her face. I really like it because it says it's a grip primer but it's very moisturizing and I feel like it's very good for clients with dry skin or combination skin. So I'm just gonna massage that all over into her skin, just press it in. All right, so now I'm applying the foundation. Like I said, my client, I mean, for my client, I did mix her foundations. So I mixed the Beauty Bakery 325 with <laughs> the Too Faced, I'm sorry, with the Too Faced Warm Beige. And that's how I'm applying it. So my client, her neck is darker than her face, but I didn't want to make her face too dark. So I kind of mixed the color so it gave her like a nice in between color. So I did tone her skin down a little bit and then this would also you know in turn um, lighten up her neck so I will take the product down her neck just so it's not oh look at her light face and everything else dark no you want to take the product all the way down you want the you want your client to you know be happy and comfortable with how they look so I felt like I did a nice in-between shade so that her face wasn't too light or too dark and same with her neck All right, now I'm going back in with our Shape Tape Concealer and I'm adding that to all of our highlighted parts. So her chin, above the lip, under the eyes, um, center of the forehead, and then I will take that um, down the nose as well. I just like to do directly under the eyes last. So I'll ask the client to look up so I can place it exactly where I want it. Um, and I feel like it helps with the creasing and I'm just gonna let that all sit for a little bit so it dries down some. So while I'm letting that sit, I'm going to now contour the face and I'm using the Juvia's Place concealer and I mix the J8 with the J9 to give her a nice um, contour shade. So I'm carving out the cheeks and then I'm also going to take it around the forehead. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm blending out where we put all of our highlighted um, concealer. And I go back and forth between the sponge, um, our smaller Real Technique brush, and the one that we use for foundation to give me a smooth application. And now when we go directly under the eye, it should be just about dry. So there's not much that I have to do, but I'm literally just patting the concealer. There's no swiping, there's no twirling. It's just patting over and over. So the outer part, I'm using the big brush. And now going on towards the nose, I'm using our smaller brush. And then directly under is when I will switch to the sponge just to make sure that it's not creased. And then that'll get us ready to apply our setting powder. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Setting Powder. And I am pushing that powder into the skin. Um, I'm not really baking. So like I said, we're just applying the powder directly under the eye and pushing it in. And then I'm gonna go over top of the lip, our chin, and our forehead. To bronze up her face, I am using the Morphe, the 8T face palette. And I'm taking those um, three tan colors, the three darker ones really, and I'm just using all of them and bronzing up her face, going directly over where we put the contour. And to contour her nose, again I'm using the Juvia's, the J8 and J9 mixture that I did to contour her nose. So I'm placing the product where I want it to be. And then I'm going to use a fluffier brush so that that contour isn't so harsh and nice and blended. Now I'm taking the AC Cosmetics. This is their No Shine Translucent Powder. And I'm placing that around where we did our nose contour. And now I'm going to use that to carve out our cheeks. So I'll do that line and then I actually pat the powder down, like I bring it down. Now I don't like for that to sit long at all. I feel like if it sit long, then it's gonna leave like a harsh line. So I'm just taking a brush and now I'm pushing all of our powder into the skin. Um, the ones under the eye, the nose, everything. Now I'm actually using the blush out of the Morphe 8R palette on her cheeks. I feel like that blush is such a nice color on her complexion. Alright, for a nice highlight, I am going in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. So this is in the shade Stole the Show. And that gave us a nice bright highlighter. So after I do the cheeks, <laughs> she's so pretty, look at her. 
And then I'm going to apply it to her nose. So I'll do the tip of the nose and then the bridge of her nose. Alright, time to get back to these eyes. So I'm using the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in the shade White. And I'm going right into her waterline with this. Sorry, this isn't a good angle for you guys. But I still wanted you guys to see what I was doing. And then right under that white, I'm going back into our crown case pink notepad and I'm using the two darker pinks that we used. Okay, so now I'm taking a white eyeshadow I'm sorry, I honestly forgot what palette I used for it, but any white will do. And I'm placing that in the corner of the eye to give it like a nice blown out look in front of that crease. Well, in front of where we cut the crease. So I'm applying just a white shadow. And then on top of that shadow, I'm going to add the Icy Pigment so that it has a shine. You see how that looks? Like I want the whole eye to shimmer. Alright, now I'm going to spray her face with the Urban Decay um, setting spray. This is the De Slick. And that's just the first spray. Y'all know I'm going to spray again. So after that, now it's time to apply the lashes. So I'm applying the Kiss Lash Glue to her lash line. And then I am also going to apply it to the actual lash. All right, time to add the lash. And I do use tweezers because my nails are so long. <laughs> and I don't apply the lash right after I put the glue on it. I do let that glue dry down some. I have a little fan for that so it doesn't take up too much time. Boom, look at that difference though. The difference a lash makes, I swear. So now I'm going to add the lash to the other side as well. To apply the mascara, I actually use a brush. And I brush it on the mascara wand. And that's how I apply it. Just so that her natural lash blends with the false lashes. Alright, we are almost done. For her lips, I am using the ColourPop BFF Liner number 3. And I'm going all along the outside of her lips. And you see when I get to the bottom, I'm going to start shading it onto the lip as well. Um, remember, I do not like a thin lip liner. In the corners of her lips, I am now using the Kiss New York Luxury Intense Lip Liner in the shade Dark Brown. It makes our lips look a little bit fuller and juicier, so I am taking the dark brown just onto the corners. And then I'm going to blend it into the ColourPop Liner. For lipstick, I wanted to do a pink color to go with our eye look. So this is by ColourPop as well. It was the ColourPop Barbie collection. This shade is called Dream House. So I'm going to apply it where I want to on the lips. And then I'm going to ask her to, you know, just smack her lips together a little bit. And thank God she did it right. She didn't get pink all over her chin. <laughs> so now I'm going to just um, blend that a little bit more into the liner.
And after I get that blended to my satisfaction, I'm going over this with a glittery um, gloss. And then I go over everything. I go over the lip liner as well. Oh my god, we're almost done. Alright, now that our face is done, I am taking the Ben Nye Matte um, Setting Spray and I'm spraying all over her face. And then I use a fan to, um, you know, instantly dry that product up. And look at her. She literally looks like a freaking Barbie doll. I love it. But thank you guys for watching thank you for coming back if you like this video actually like it give me that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i can't wait to see you guys next time with another tutorial this was dizzy slay mua and i will see you guys next time